Hi there, I'm Susan Beyer. This is Fun With Research. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about language. Um, a lot of folks get really bunged up thinking about how to talk about research, either with their leadership team or with their clients. Um, and they get very concerned that they don't have the right language, they don't know all of the statistical words to use to describe what they're doing. I'm gonna tell you, stop worrying about that. Um, that is not what you need to know with respect to the research that you are proposing, the research that you're doing, the research that you did. What you need to think about, as in most situations, in my opinion, is not what your solution looks like technically, it's what problem are you solving and how is whatever you're doing going to solve it, right? So I could go around telling people that I conduct quantitative attitudinal audience segmentation research for agencies. Um, and that doesn't tell people anything. That, that is quite frankly off-putting. People are already sort of intimidated by research and researchers and me going around spouting statistical language and complicated big fancy words is not helping the situation. Um, instead, you need to talk to people about the problem that you are solving. So for example, I am helping agencies better serve their clients by getting some current, unique, helpful insight into their audiences. And if somebody says, well, how are you doing that, then you can explain it without going into the technical way. You know, if, if you want to explain to somebody what an e-commerce website can do to help them, you're not telling them the lines of code that are incorporated or the types of software that it's built on. That is not helpful to them, right? So what you need to be talking about with your research is how it is going to help. We're doing a custom study built just for us. We're going to explore our clients and our prospects and see if they are different. We're understanding the kinds of things that affect people's decision-making when they're choosing a provider in this space. And that, when you have that kind of conversation with somebody, that's when the light bulb goes on. And they don't get mired down in details about how we're going to do it. Focus on the problem. Focus on how your research is going to help with the solution, uh, and that should be fine. Now, every once in a while, we do a lot of research for um, higher ed, so colleges and universities, and inevitably, somebody in the math department wants to know how we are conducting our research and the statistical approach that we're using to develop our segmentation. And that's fine. I can explain that to them. But that is not something that 95% of the people involved in the research want to know or will help them, right? They can always read about that if that's something that they want to do. But what people really want to know is what problem are you helping me solve? And how is this approach going to help me solve it? So next time you think about talking research and you get that sort of tightness in your chest and butterflies in your stomach worried that people won't take you seriously because you don't have the right language, set that aside because it's really about solving a particular problem problem. Research is a means to an end. Um, and if you back up and think of it that way, I think you'd be much more comfortable talking about what research can do for your organization or your clients um, and how it can help you solve specific problems. And that's going to be more effective for you. If you have any questions, let me know. You can always join our free Fun With Research Facebook group and we're answering questions in there, sharing videos, having conversations, etc. I would love to have you join us. I'll see you next week on Fun With Research.